of the holiday weekend is almost behind us. Today's kind of the stinker, as Katie said earlier in the program. Tomorrow looks a lot better. Come afternoon, maybe? I, I think starting right all off day. in the morning, right from the get-go, like there could be just a few patches of clouds, but they're all going to dry up. It'll be a beautiful day for Labor Day, getting up to the lower 80s. So that's it. Back to you. Okay. Oh, no. Thanks. No, oh, wait, no, you have more. Yeah. i got, got a lot more to talk about. Two, so let's three talk. minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about today's rain, Ken. And it was a... A pretty good amount of rain. We needed some rain badly. Too bad it really had to happen right in the middle of our holiday weekend. But that's the story, and that's the way it goes. Down in Cape Cod Academy at Osterville, about nine-tenths of an inch of rain. Out in Hudson at the Forest Avenue Elementary School, about six-tenths, a little bit more, about six-tenths in Beverly, the Urquhart School there. So it's still raining out there in some areas, but as we showed you just a few minutes ago, most of the rain is lifting northeastward, and it won't be long before it'll be terminating in southern New England, lasting a little bit longer up to the north. High temperatures today, only 64 in Boston, upper 60s southeastern Mass. It didn't even get to 60 in parts of northwestern Worcester County, north and west. A mighty cool day. In fact, it matched the record low high temperature for the day uh, in uh, Worcester this more, I can only get up to 57 there. So these are the current temperatures. They really haven't fallen off much. They're pretty much as the highs, as close to the highs of the day. And there you can see that circulation right in there. And that's where we have the storm. It's not really sort of the secondary storm which formed from Harvey. And I'll show you Harvey in a minute. But there's a circulation right in here, right in the Boston area. And it's pretty humid here over southeastern Massachusetts, mid and upper 60s. So it's feeling kind of muggy, feeling kind of damp. But this drier back in here is going to come back in and take over tomorrow. So we'll have low humidity back. Not super dry air like we had a couple of days ago, but certainly very nice indeed. With high temperatures around 82 in many areas near Boston and points north and west, and maybe a few areas in the southwestern suburbs too. It'll be cooler on the New England south coast with that gusty west southwest wind running. 12 to 25 miles an hour. So it's going to be a good beach day. Just a few patches of clouds disappearing. With that gusty wind, though, highs around 82. The water temperature around 60 to 70 degrees. So the water has cooled off from what it was a few days ago because we had that strong offshore wind a couple days ago, which chased out a lot of that warm surface water. We start off with a few, few patches of clouds, but a lot of those will just sort of dry up as the day goes along. We'll end up with a lot of sunshine, a very nice day. And then on Tuesday, some high clouds start to show up first thing in the morning. And then we'll get a few scattered showers and storms forming. And now there's going to be an axis of action right in here, uh, northeast to southwest axis, which lasts for a th couple of days. And that's where going to be some tropical downpours. Pretty hot weather out west, and some of that's going to stream in here, so we'll have our warmest day this week on Tuesday when it gets to the upper 80s. There's the what's left over of Harvey, the main center of Harvey. The new storm formed here, but we got to go way down in the Atlantic Force and take a look at Irma. And there is Irma right now, and it's quite a powerful storm. Closing in on it as of 5 o'clock, 115 mile per hour winds. A category 3 storm moving to the west at 14 miles per hour. Slated to turn more toward the southwest and threaten a lot of the islands. Many of the islands here in the northern Leeward Islands toward the Virgin Islands. A hurricane watch is up now. As the hurricane center feels this is going to ramp up to a Cat 4 storm with top winds of near 140 miles an hour sustained. And it's in jeopardy of hitting the Turks and Caicos. After that, it's not a sure bet yet, but it looks like anywhere from Florida up to the Carolinas. Have to watch this one very closely as we get to the end of the week. There's where it's going to be on Friday. It all depends a lot of the steering current, so nobody knows at this point exactly where it goes. But certainly we have to watch it very closely, including New England as well. But it certainly is more of a threat down towards Florida and the Carolinas first. Here we go with tropical downpours here. Some showers and storms later Tuesday. Off and on downpours may happen Wednesday into Thursday morning and very humid. Then it dries out. Next weekend should be just fine, at least through most of the weekend. Be on the cooler side once again. That's it for now. I'll see you tonight at 11 o'clock. Ken and Katie.